Welcome everyone to my channel. My name is Liz. In this week's video, I'm going to share with you how to dress a holiday table. I set myself up for a challenge to go to Home Goods to purchase everything that I'm going to be using to style the table today. Now, what made it so much more of a challenge when we honestly know that Home Goods has everything under the sun that you can imagine. But what made it a little bit more challenging for me is that I am more of a minimalist and I was looking for pieces that were very simple and delicate that would work for my tablescape. So if you're interested in seeing how I style a very elegant table, then just keep watching this video. Hey guys, so I am in front of the table runners. I'm not really a table runner kind of person, but I found these napkins and I found these really pretty kind of like a hammered metal napkin ring um, I'm gonna check the other side but I think I'm gonna take these so now I'm looking for some new um, cutlery for the table I have some pretty ones that I bought from Amazon but I wanted to challenge myself and find something new for the holidays and so I'm looking through all of these options nothing's really grabbing me so let me come around actually looking for a matte black cutlery set. Darn. I'm gonna keep looking. Okay, I'm getting a little nervous. I'm not finding too much. So I'm gonna go down the aisle where there's plates and see what I can find for dishware. The struggle is real. These are the only dishes I am able to get in like a set of eight. So, <sighs> I'm gonna make it work though. I'm gonna make it work. I'm gonna go down the glasses here. Oh, it's so frustrating guys. This is, I'm gonna make it work. This is the challenge, right? So here we go. So it's really challenging guys because all the glasses just look very much the same and I kind of want a little bit of a texture. I like the ribbed glass on these um, and then they have shorter ones that are over here. So I might just pair these two together and call it a day. We'll see. Okay guys, so I have just dressed the table with the white linen cloth and this is just gonna be very elegant and a clean slate to start now adding all of the fun stuff. Now, another way that you can add really nice texture, pops of color, is by using placemats or chargers. This is, this is completely optional. You do not have to do this, but I already pre-planned my design of how I wanted to style it. So I found these at Home Goods yesterday. They were $7.99 for a pack of eight. And so basically I am going for a very organic, soft, elegant look. And so I'm gonna start by just placing this right in the center of each chair, and I'm gonna go around the table until it's done. Okay guys, so my next purchase were a set of dishes. Now there wasn't a lot to choose from there. Um, basically a lot of the dishes were either all white or very Christmassy. And I couldn't go wrong with all white, but then it was a matter of choosing patterns and shapes and I couldn't find eight complete sets. The only options I had were the box ones. And the whole entire box was $17.99 and it came with the soup bowl, a salad plate, and the entree plate, as well as a coffee mug. So I thought the value for what I got was really, really good. And to be honest with you, I don't mind the irregular shape. 
They're very minimalistic and they will do the job just fine. Um, as far as quality, they're not top notch, but they will still give and lend to a very elegant table setting. No one would know the difference. Once that your, once your placemat or charger is down, you want to start setting it with your larger plate. And I did something a little fun here. I kind of twisted the plate um, to create a little bit of a cool sh irregular shape. And then you want to set your salad plate and then your bowl. And I'm showing you an elegant way to dress a table, but in my personal home, this is usually all that it is. We normally pile everything on our plate and call it a day. We don't waste our time with extra bowls and extra plates. I mean, give or take, but typically Thanksgiving day, we just pile it on and I'm just being really honest. But in this scenario, we are going to pretend that the queen is coming for dinner and we are going to set the table like so. And so that's how I would set it. Now I did forget something. Um, I also purchased these beautiful, this is, this is the, aside from the, the linen tablecloth, these linen towels are just exceptional. I was really blown away by the quality of these. They're from a brand called Bella Lux. Um, I got really lucky with these, the whole pack of, I think they were 12 in a pack and they were $17.99 and they are absolutely stunning. And so what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to leave them exactly how they were in the package. I'm just going to give it a fold back to its original shape. People have used dinner napkins to decorate. They fold them, they twist them, they put napkin rings on them. We're not gonna do any of that today. I'm gonna keep it really elegant because I just love the raw linen look of the napkin. And I'm going to lift the serving. I'm gonna lay the napkin right across the placemat and then set the dishes right on top. Okay, so next step is your cutlery. Now I had to cheat a little bit because I didn't wanna use the cutlery that I already had in my kitchen. I wanted to do a fresh new look and I thought that I would really find something beautiful at Home Goods, but every single box was stainless steel. And I didn't want a stainless steel look. I actually wanted black flatware and I could not find it. So I used my Amazon Prime and it was here the next day. And I have to say, guys, I'm not even gonna link these. The quality is not great, um, but they are going to serve a purpose for today's video. Um, I'm probably going to return these just as soon as I'm done. And the reason why I say that is because you can kind of see where they were dipped and there's like irregularities. So if you can see paint on your silverware, that's a huge no. You do not want that because God forbid there's any lead in here. We don't know. So I want to, I want to go over the cutlery with you and how to set it up on your table formally. So normally in a set, you have five pieces. Sometimes there's more, but we're using five pieces today. And you generally have a smaller fork, which is your salad fork and you have your entree fork. So starting from left to right, you're gonna put your salad fork down first and then your entree fork right after that. To the right, you're gonna start with your knife. Then you're gonna start with your teaspoon. And generally this is normally used for like sorbets, desserts towards the end of the meal. And your soup spoon. Most, um, but this is the formal way to set up your silverware on a table. So I'm going to go ahead and finish off the rest of the table. Okay guys, so the next thing you want to add to your table um, is the glassware. And you have to consider, you know, if you're having alcoholic beverages or you are just doing something non-alcoholic, um, typically, the way I like to style my table is with a glass for water and then the drink of your choice, whether someone's having a cocktail or somebody's having a glass of wine, then I will pull out wine glasses. So for this setting, I have in mind that we will be drinking wine and we will have some water. Now, I have to say I was also pleasantly surprised with this find. These were from Home Goods, and I paid $6.99 for these beautiful ribbed glasses. 
and I got them in two sizes. They were in the short uh, stemless wine glass size and in the tall you know, water glass size. So yes, yeah, so they were $6.99 and I purchased two sizes. So basically what I'm going to do is put the small glass forward and then the water glass right to the side of it, just like that. And I'm gonna go around the table and just complete this. Okay guys, so now that the table is fully dressed, we are now gonna consider all the frills and all of the things that we're going to add, the texture, the color, all the fun stuff to really bring the table to life. And I have to say that this was probably the number one purchase I made yesterday at Home Goods. I was so thrilled to find it. It was the only one on the shelf and it is a charcuterie um, board. You could use it for cakes or pastries, but I plan on using it as a charcuterie board. Um, I just really love the elegant glass. It just really looks super expensive. I paid $39.99 for it and basically, I'm going to add a beautiful um, arrangement of fruit and cheese so that my guests can come and as they're sitting and waiting for the food, they can come in here and just start serving themselves. So I think that this is a lovely touch. It adds a lot of elegance to your table. Definitely optional. This is just one way of how, how I decided to style the table. And I think my guests are gonna really appreciate having a little snack right before the dinner arrives. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the fruits and cheese out and um, get that going. Okay guys, so I also have this beautiful um, pitcher that I purchased. It was $19.99 and I'm using it for water. Um, another way that I decided to dress up the table was to find some little candlesticks. Now I was going to use regular candles, um, but I opted for these. These actually were a set of eight. The whole pack of eight was $16 or $14.99. It takes two AA batteries, and then you just give it a twist. So I'm going to put these here, just like so. Okay, so the final step in decorating and styling your table, I personally love to use floral arrangements. Now you can use dried florals, you can use artificial flowers. I went to the market and I purchased just some white flowers and some little berry flowers. And I have no idea how I'm gonna arrange it, but I have little cups that are already, um, I've already had in my home that I'm going to cut really short and place the cups in between all of this to really just add some elegance and just some whimsiness to the table. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these and arrange my little arrangements. All right, you guys, so here is the table setting. I am really happy with the outcome. Again, table styling is all dependent upon your own personal taste. This was something that I just sort of came up with. Um, it's elegant, it's minimalistic, and some, some of you sometimes are like, minimalistic, there's so many things on the table just means that it's more refined. The tones and the colors and what I've chosen to put on there are a little bit more simplistic than traditional table settings. And so I'm really pleased with it. I really love how the black flatware just really pops against all of the white um, napkins and tablecloth. And the little touch of flowers um, just adds a little whimsy to the table. It's a little bit elegant and um, just really, um, elevates the look of the table. Not to mention the beautiful charcuterie board that we have there. It is a beautiful presentation. If you really wanna wow your guests and make them feel like they're being super um, taken care of and very well treated at the table, 
present them a beautiful charcuterie board. I guarantee you, your guests are going to love it. And so guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed putting it together for you. If you enjoyed the video, I would appreciate if you give the video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I do a lot of home decor, styling, DIY videos. So if that's your sort of thing, then I welcome you to subscribe to this channel. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this week and I'll see you in my next video soon.